What's up legends? Today is the day to go full archer on these damn fascists. I just unlocked the explosive crossbow and it's time to test this bad boy out against the terminated bugs. Again, we go for the terminated bugs because we'll be able to get ourselves in more engagements than we would against the automatons. So that's why I generally prefer going up against the terminated for the first impressions look of the weapon. So as always, let's spawn here close to this side objective. Um, this should do it quite fine. And for stratagems, we bring 500 kilobomb for bile titans, napalm for the swarms, shield for protection, and the quasar cannon for chargers. For the equipment, of course, here is the exploding crossbow, and everything else is my standard redeemer, impact grenade, and the scout light armor set. Even though I'm thinking about it, I probably shouldn't be using the light uh, scout armor set since uh, I don't really play stealth against bugs anyways, but screw it. Here we go. As soon as we spawn here, as always, shoot generator pack and quasar cannon. Oh, got a shrieker nest. I wonder if I can shoot it down with the crossbow. Nope. Oh, that's a ricochet. Doesn't do any damage. All right. Um, shoot the generator is good. Let's get the quasar cannon. Start bringing it down. Although, we don't have any ground bugs here, which means we're, we don't have a bug breach, so we should be able to call a hell bomb just fine. Shriekers can't attack hell bombs, by the way. Fun fact. Usually this spot kind of does it. We'll land it here. We do have a patrol incoming, though. So I think I'm going to have to distract them away so they don't get rid of my hell bomb. I don't really have anything else to deal with the Shrieker's Nest. It's either the Hell Bomb or the 500 Kilo, and I don't want to waste the 500 Kilos. I'm over here, buddies. I'm over here. By the way, this is already my second game with the crossbow. <laughs> the previous game didn't turn out too well. Yeah, the... Uh... Oh, crap. We still have a... a nest to go. Oh, no! You blocked the shot! God damn it. Yeah, the explo... Oh, my... I'm almost dead. The exploding crossbow is kind of uh, not the greatest. <laughs> Let's call it that. One more shot. A palm to help me out with the horde. Ah, damn, there's so many shriekers. Oh, we got a big boy there, but I'll focus on the nest first. Boom. Alright. Try to one hit this Bile Titan with a 500 kilo. That's pretty solid, I think. It's gonna land on him. Oh, we landed on the little guy. Nice. Okay, finish off these little birds. Dude, I can't. I genuinely can't stop laughing at how bad the uh, the exploding crossbow actually is. Um, the crossbow's got five capacity. Oh my! <laughs> it's got five capacity, and it takes three shots to kill a hive guard. Sadly, it's really not the greatest. I will say this though: it's pretty good at dealing with hunters as long as they're not hugging you, as you can kind of land the shot pretty far away from the hunter. And it still kills them. Let's see if I can resupply here. I gotta finish off these guys, but I don't have any ammo on my redeemer. Oh, come on. How much drop off is there? Was I maybe aiming too high? Well, now I gotta kill one of these guys with the crossbow. Come on. But yeah, sadly, as I'm sure will happen here at some point. You'll see the crossbow just, yeah, not uh, not the greatest. It's fun though, I'll say that. All right, just one of you. Come on, come on, come here, buddy. Oh, got fucked. I think it takes something like 
three to four crossbow or arrows for a, uh, a brit commander it takes like three for a hive guard pretty rough yeah it's four those brit commanders survived after three shots that's a rough arena napalm here to kind of help us out right in the front of their front line there get a little bit of high ground Ooh. as with anything explosive getting a little bit of high ground oh my god always gonna help you quite a bit to use these rocks to your advantage i cannot believe i just did that oh no the auto climb no stop auto climbing dickhead We're good all right I hate auto climbing so much. Turn around. Where are you looking, Charger? The fight is right behind you, brother. Alright. See if we can finish this this rogue stay. Oh my god, we got another. Got another shrieker nest. A 500 kilo bomb should do it. Ooh. Didn't do it. How did it not do it? Damn it. All right, we got to do the hell bomb on this rogue station. I got to empty these guys out, though, before I call the hell bomb. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's not going to work with this many bugs. They're just going to take it out. These shriekers are seriously getting on my nerves. Oh, okay, that works. Oh, damn it. Oh man. What? How did that guy die? Have you guys tried the, the exploding crossbow so far? Listen man. I don't mean I don't mean to be a dick. But it's pretty terrible. It's fun though, it's definitely different. God damn, it's bad. I wonder if it's any better against the automatons though. What do you guys What do you guys think? The ones that of you that have used it against the automatons. I feel like it might work quite well. Explosive damage is pretty good against quite a lot of different units there on their side. Striders, especially. Might be able to one hit a strider. That'd be pretty good. You see, it's not terrible at dealing with hunters. As long as they're not already hugging you. Yeah, this is not gonna work. I got far too. I got a freaking bug breach. Oh no! Leave my help bomb alone, dickhead. There's so many freaking bugs. I I just can't get rid of them before they call for another bug breach. We're actually kind of getting stuck here in infinite reinforcement loop. We're eight minutes deep. We've done nothing but a couple of shrieker nests. I'm just really not being able to get them off my back. At least that's two Shrieker Nests. Now we can finish these. God damn, guys. How many of them? The shield is, j just carries me against the Shriekers right here. Oh my god. You see, they got a pretty bad uh, explosion bug right now. I think all of you guys probably have noticed it. But when you kind of cause an explosion to yourself, like you ragdoll yourself due to an explosion, it brings you towards the explosion rather than away from it. And I know it seems silly, but I feel like that's a pretty 
it's super noticeable against bugs because it just tosses you in range of their attacks so it's quite rough Let's see if we can get a hell bomb here we got a stuck charger maybe that hell bomb will land on top of him and kill him oh no he's moving why didn't you stay there i need my stuff back my god, I just can't kill him fast enough. No, it spawned on the wrong side. Oh boy, I'm in trouble here. Honestly, don't know how the heck I'm gonna get out of here. Gotta find a way to just kill them all. Some somehow. Oh my god, they just keep on coming. Oh my god, it does nothing. 100 kilo, hopefully that'll thin them out a little bit. Go around the long way, pick up the quasar and the shield. Give us a fighting chance. I also gotta get these freaking shriekers off me. That hell bomb is clean. There we go. All right. All right, we can start moving forward now. <laughs> Ten minutes deep, we've done a couple side objectives. Not looking too good, but. It is the bug mission, or the egg mission, which is one of the easiest missions to speed through things get really ugly. I can just rush from egg to egg pretty confidently. This is why I took this mission, to be honest. Crossbow, the crossbow, I just, I struggle so, so hard to to prevent infinite bug breaches because it just kills so slowly. I thought the plasma shotgun was bad. Honestly, the exploding crossbow may be worse. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to call a resupply here. Get a bit of distance from that uh that group. I got to get moving, man, cuz 12 minutes deep. Oh, we already got another bug breach. 12 minutes deep, we haven't even started the main objectives. For democracy! How'd you like the taste of freedom? Woo! Clean. Alright, one more should do it if he's in the he's not engaging. He's engaging now. This should do it. He's gonna stop engaging. Bam. By the way, when the Bile Titan, what I was doing there is when the Bile Titan is engaging, when he's spewing the bile, uh, they're a little bit more resistant to damage. So wait until they leave that position and they're actually just kind of walking around. And you will do more damage. You will get rid of them with two shots. A high yield, the napalm. What else we got? Uh, another napalm. Green is what again? A explosive? Okay. Just one more. Hopefully a mini nuke. I don't want to risk a bug breach here. It would seriously delay things pretty awfully. Oh no, wait. I think that did it. Oops, still one alive right here. Please don't call for a bug breach. Where did he go? Oh crap, I didn't start the terminal, right? Oh, there you are. Okay, after this, it will have been four side objectives. Then it'll just kind of leave me mostly with just with the main objectives left. Let's put napalm, napalm, high yield, explosive, static field. Okay. Napalm, napalm, high yield, explosive, static field. The order. Double napalm, high explosive then explosive, then static field. Okay, all right. Mission is done.
Let's get to moving here. We got a main objective right on top of us here. I think at least the crossbow is going to be pretty good at getting rid of eggs, I'd imagine. Anything explosive is fantastic at it, I'd imagine. This one is as well. You know what I'm kind of noticing about the explosive crossbow is that even though it's kind of like a meme weapon and it's pretty bad, honestly. The, the radius of it... Yeah, and it doesn't get rid of bug holes, by the way. The radius of it is really large, actually. It looks really small, but it's super large. Look at that. Look at all those eggs it got rid of with just one shot. Oh, it ran out. Damn it. I want to finish off all the eggs before the bug breach comes through. See if I can do that. Go, go. Oh, that's not happening. Yeah, so even though the damage is like mediocre as hell, the radius is super large. So it is pretty decent at dealing with small guys. That's kind of it. That's all this weapon's got. The damage is pretty laughable. Okay, this should be an amazing position. Eh, could have been better. Get him stuck here on this rock. Bam! Okay, shit. Got another patrol. Because I just can't, I can't get rid of them in time. That napalm is good. Alright, let's see if we can finish off the eggs. You know what? Every time, keep running out of arrows. Okay, eight more. Uncle, please. Beautiful. This one's done. We got 23 minutes to go. Shit, out of ammo. Can we stay here on the high ground? No, oh, they're too close. Overall, I kind of feel like the crossbow can be like quite decent at group play if you want to be the guy who just kind of deals with swarms, like the, the little guys. I don't know how loadouts usually go in group play if you have somebody specializing in armored, someone specializes in getting rid of the small guys, which I would imagine it goes that way, right? Yeah, someone can take the crossbow for that role. Because it is kind of decent at like... Getting rid of the small guys? Like, I don't know. But really, it's only good for, like, the really small guy. Oh, no. What a climb. Okay, we're still good. Go, go, go. Jesus. It's really only good at the really, really small guys. I'm talking, like, scavengers, warriors, and, and hunters. Nothing else. Bad at everything else. Like the small guy killer. Probably gonna be good at like small bots and striders though, I would imagine. I'm just in love with the napalm airstrike, man. It's just so, so powerful. It's so much better than the Ego Airstrike. I used to be an Ego Airstrike lover. But dude, since the... Oh! Get some, get some. It's the fire damage. Wow, that was a terrible 500 kill. <laughs> since the fire damage buff. Oh my god, I love these napalms. Alright, this should be good. Stagger him. Oh no, I staggered him too early. Damn it. Wasted both of those. All right, still did it. Pretty good. Objective 
resupply close to the main objective. If we can get in here. Oh. Can I shoot the back of his head here? Nope. What did that even hit? But yeah, I think now we've officially done every weapon in the game. I haven't used the grenade pistol yet, but I don't see myself making an entire video based on the grenade pistol. Since it's pretty straightforward, the grenade pistol is grenade or a pistol that just shoots grenades. I mean, there's not... I don't feel like there's too much to test there. Pretty obvious what to expect from it, I feel like. <laughs> gonna have to be dancing around the whole game dude it's so weak against brit commanders i worry about its performance against these with that be you sir have we stopped shooting even for a second this whole game feels like we've been fighting the whole game Imagine if this were a pouncer world. We'd be getting so many freaking kills. This bug breaches on bug breaches. That napalm is gonna be clean. Oh my. Get down, Mr. President! That's the second time somebody blocks my shot. Oh my god, we got three charges here. Oh my god, we walked into another group. Go! Go, 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 go. Okay, one down. Three more to go. Two more, rather. I feel like once you kind of get used to like the distance between you and the explosion radius from the crossbow, you can kind of... Oh, there's an invisible wall there. You can kind of maximize your efficiency a little bit with it. Because you can kind of shoot units that are hugging you. Without actually hurting yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. Uh, at this big boy. Alright, that might have been a terrible spawn, but screw it. 500 kilo right on him. Get him off me a little bit. Please get rid of the charger. Charger's just chilling there. Hit him with an A-palm. I should do it. Alright. Alright, give me my stuff back. Alright, 17 minutes left. Only one more main objective. Actually, we kind of picked up the speed there a little bit, didn't we? You know what? I know you're just chilling, walking there. But you're the one who's going to take that shot. Can we shoot underneath? Blow up his butt, maybe? Probably could, but... See ya. Still alive, isn't it? Yeah, he's still alive. Oh no. Oh no, we got Hunter's group. Oh no, we got double Bio Titans. Go, 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 go. What? Did we kill both Bio Titans with one nuke? Or one 500 kilo? We did! That's amazing. What the hell? You will never destroy our way of life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Call
call it the freaking scavenger killer, dude, because that's all this weapon really does. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm stuck. One. Two. Oh, okay. Did it in two. I stand corrected. Two. Oh, you took three. You son of a gun. Oh my. I'm honestly just kind of excited for them to make a, a melee type weapon. I feel like that'd be really fun to use. It'd be probably not very useful, but it'd be fun for sure. Kind of like how this weapon is, isn't it? Like fun, but not that useful. All right, we also got the radar station there. So we got the main objective and the radar station pretty much on top of each other which are both the last main objective and the last side objective. We'll also, of course, be trying to fully extract after we complete the main objective. If we complete it in time, I want to try to kill as many bugs as I possibly can just to really put this weapon out to the test. So pretty much so far, I have to rely heavily on the napalm. I just I cannot kill enough with the crossbow. Very, very weak. Very, very weak. It does make me wonder, though, since it's a crossbow, is it, like, stealthy? I wonder if, like, using against automatons, you can fire this weapon and not actually alert them of your position. That'd be kind of cool. Like, maybe they only go to where crossbow exploded rather than where you shot it from. That'd be nice. I could definitely see myself using that against the bots if that's the case. You're down. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no, we walked right into a nest. And the patrol. Uh oh. You know what? I think I want to finish the main objective first so I stop worrying about this. Go, go, go. Oh, okay, that's pretty good at that. Two more eggs. Can do this. Come on, get out of my way. All right, beautiful. Okay, main objectives are done. We're just gonna try to do the radar station and kill a bunch of freaking bugs. You clip that, sir. Thank you. Down you go. I'm just keeping an eye out here for like what I'm looking for here is the hunters. Pretty much any every time I spot them, I just try to shoot at least somewhere near them and it seems to do the job. Also, the first one's an napalm, second one's an napalm. I believe it's high explosive and explosive, right? Okay, so that's a beautiful napalm. Beautiful. Though it's not really killing anybody, it seems. Did it not kill, like, a single bug? So we got our napalm, which is much better. Okay, here we go. Start clearing these guys out. Off my station. Hopefully that'll bait them out of the radar station for us to take. Just constantly putting some distance between us and the bugs here. Really gonna be our best friend here. Napalm kind of missed a little bit. Yeah, I kind of regret calling that. I think that was pretty, pretty crappy. There doesn't seem to be that many bugs there anymore. Okay. Boom. All right. Start making our way back to the radar station here. Hopefully, 
pretty cleared out. Honestly, I thought there were more bugs, but we, we dealt with them pretty effectively here. Okay. You know, it's kind of weird. Every weapon in this uh, this new war bond sucks against brute commanders. All, all three of them. The eruptor takes like two to three shots. The adjugator takes a million shots. This one takes a million shots. They all suck against them. Okay, that's the high yield. Hopefully that's gonna deal with that big guy there. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? No. It takes so long. The timer on the... Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 we got hunters. Last reload. The timing on the Sif artillery is always so off, it feels like. I don't know if I'm crazy or what, but it literally always feels so off. Thank you for killing that hunter, sir. <laughs> that do it? Nope. All right. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Thought I killed him. You may proceed to extraction when ready. That'll do. Yes, sir. All right. Fucking hell, man. It's so difficult to uh, build some space between us and the bugs here. Literally, I just... Oh my god, you guys are all still here. I literally just can't create space at all. It just takes so long to kill them that I just cannot create space. When you take into account all the reloads that you have to do with the crossbow, killing them just takes ages. Let's get the high ground here so we can deal with this little sw Oh, we got another friggin' bug breach. Uh, static field, because why not? 500 kilo, because why not? Focus on killing the hunters here. Hunters are... Shit, okay. Big guy's still up. At least we got all the hunters, it seems like. That should be a hefty 500 kilo. That'll do, right? I do it? Yeah, that did it. No, he didn't. He's still up. God damn it. Oh no, we got a group of hunters. Oh no! Did I kill myself all my three deaths so far? <laughs> I think I killed myself literally all three of my deaths. Oh my god. Leave me alone. Oh my god, there's so many of you. Alright, I gotta put distance again. Oh no. Just happened the same exact thing that just... Oh no, boys. Oh no, wait. Alright, let's try to go back to where my body... Oh, invisible wall. Screw it. We still have one life. I'll risk this one. Oh. Oh my god. We made it up. Where's my body? Where's my body? Over here. Okay. Woo! Let's go. See, when you kind of learn to abuse the AOE a little bit, it does get a little bit better, but it just, it's too slow. Just like every other weapon in this warbond, except for the Eruptor, is just too little firepower. Far too little. Keep coming from that way. I love it. Oh no, there's always one of you, isn't there? Going with the flank. 
Oh, that napalm is gonna do wonders, dude. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Let's go. What about you, big guy? You just chilling? Wanna join the party? That napalm still going, bro. Do another one. Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. Damn, if it wasn't for that freaking bird commander, I would have bailed out. I have no lives. I gotta play this shit safe. Don't wanna die with only five minutes left. Go, oh, beautiful, okay. Let's see if we can finish off this radar station, maybe. A palm should do work. Turn a little bit to the right. Let's go. Hey, gotta be careful here. Okay. Go to the right. Good. Well, let's go. Beautiful. Supply here. I need my stuff back. Quasar. Shield. We also gotta wait a minute to give me that reinforcement before we opt in for a little bit more of a risky play again. Ooh, that was pretty close. Come on, pick it up. Okay. You should clip. Oh no! You didn't clip the rock. What the fu I hate when that happens, dude. I hate when charges just completely break physics. Clip on this one. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. Oh man. I think we had a shield there, or else that was definitely GG. Start working here towards the extraction. We got the reinforcements back. I just realized it. Okay. Don't you like the taste of freedom? Oh no, I just realized I just saw this super rare sample rock formation there. Realized I left all my freaking samples all the way back there, didn't I? And I can't go get it. Oh my god. Forgot. Oh no, we got a patrol here. Shit. No way, we're gonna extract with nothing. Hold that foot, that foot! Oh shit! That was close. Bomb, dude, it's still going. It's beautiful. Get some. Get some. See, like, I don't know. I feel like this weapon might be pretty good for group play, dude, because it does do really good at getting rid of the, the little guys. It's obviously really bad for solo play. I don't know. Huh? What about you guys? Do you guys uh, do any of you kind of play maybe the role of getting kills on the little guys? Is that something group could possibly use to their advantage? 
I can't see myself really using this weapon unless I want to use something fun because I'll admit this weapon is actually pretty fun to use. Mostly because it's different. But it is pretty mediocre at uh, for me for solo play. Seven seconds left. I can get real nervous here. Oh. No. Oh shit. Okay. By the way, when you get dragged like that by a charger and you have the shoot generator pack, just dive and you will get out of it. Come on, minute 50. Minute 50. Let's go. Charger. Gone. Scared the head out of me. Oh no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, oh motherfucker. Sweet liberty, my arm. Jesus. Don't ruin this for me now. Please. Keep your distance. Oh my god, there's still more. Flip this rock, sir. Thank you. Oh no. Oh my god, there's a bunch of hunters still. Get some, get some! Go, go, go. Hit the big guy. Like nice, beautiful. Come on, come on, Pelican One. Hurry up. Things are looking bad down here. We gotta start making our way back. It's gonna start landing. Go. Alright. I think we're looking good, boys. Come on, Pelican. We're looking good, boys. Let's go. Let's go. And that, <laughs> that is the exploding crossbow. So yeah, overall, man, I think the weapon is just really weak, man. The damage is really weak. It just doesn't have enough firepower to keep those uh, bug breaches under control. Whereas like pretty much all of the shotguns in the game can keep it under control. Even some of the assault rifles. And uh, yeah, man, it's just uh, not going to be a great pick for me here, but I, I can see it being used in group play, maybe for somebody who wants to clear up those little guys, maybe use exploding crossbow and like a stalwart to really focus down on like the, the little ones. That's about it, though. That's about it. I don't really see this weapon being much more useful elsewhere. Uh, again, if, uh, if it's good against automatons, that's a different story, especially if the automatons don't hear you firing it, like if they only hear where the explosion comes from, the final explosion, it can be an insane stealth tool. So I'm really wondering about that. So let's go ahead and check out here. Let's, let's just see how many kills we got. If we were fighting like the whole game, 988. That's really good, man. I'm actually really proud of that. We actually almost broke a thousand and we almost broke our personal record. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace.